All right, bed night with chapter 21 of Jeremiah. It says this: Jerusalem will fall to Nebuchadnezzar, which is of course the king of Babylon or the king of Iraq at the time. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, that when King Zedekiah sent to him Pashar the son of Malka and Zephaniah the priest the son of Messiah, or Mesa, saying, Inquire the Lord for us, for Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon is making war against us. Perhaps the Lord will deal with us according to all his wonderful deeds, and will make and will make him withdraw from us. Then Jeremiah said to them, Thus, says, thus shall say to, Zeke, to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord. The God of Israel is, of course, Christ. Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, and with which you are fighting against the king of Babylon or Iraq, and against the Chaldeans, who are besieging you outside the walls, which is Jerusalem. And I will bring them together into the midst of this city. I myself will fight against you, with outstretched hand and strong arm, in anger and in fury and in great wrath. I will strike down or kill the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast. So... God, God's had it with Jerusalem. You know, they've been in so much sin and stuff, and they haven't repented. They keep on it in their sense of God's going to allow them to be invaded by Babylon, which is all right today. Babylon will come in there and you know, destroy Jerusalem, you know, kill kill much of all these Jews, and God's going to allow it to happen. And those who have survived are going to be taken to Babylon into, into slavery. It says, um, uh, it says, uh, huh? And I will strike them uh, down the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence, which is disease. Afterward, declares the Lord, I will give Zedekiah king of Judah and his servants and the people in this city who survived the pestilence, swore, which is war, and famine, which is starvation, to the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, and to the hand of their enemies, and to the hand of those who seek their lives. He shall strike them down or kill them with the edge of the sword. He shall not pity them or spare them or have compassion. And God says, I've had it with you, Jerusalem. You continue in your sin. You're not repenting. I'm, I'm going to send Babylon upon you. I'm going to have the majority of you all killed. I'm going to have the seed destroyed. And those who survive, um, you know, or God, 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 God will tell Jerusalem that he's going to send, you know, uh, diseases upon them. He's going to send starvation upon them, war and all that. But he also says those, those of you who survive will be taken to Babylon into slavery. So, God has to put up with sin, sin as we know. Um, verse 8, and to, this, and to this people you shall say, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He who stays in this city, which is Jerusalem, shall die by the sword or by war, by famine, which is starvation, and by, or by, by famine, which is yeah, starvation, and by pestilence, which is disease. But he who goes out and surrenders to the Chaldeans, who are besieging you, shall live. And shall have his life as a prize of war. For I have set my face against the city for harm and not for good, declares the Lord. It shall be given into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. So God basically tells the king of Babylon, burn, burn it to the ground. Uh, it tells him to burn it to the ground, kill majority of the Jews. Those who survive will, you know, will of course be taken to slavery. So God, God's had it. He's had it with Jerusalem. Um, Message to the house of David, and to the house of the king of Judah, say, Hear the, hear the word of the Lord, O house of David, thus says the Lord. Execute justice in the morning, and deliver from the hand of the oppressor, him who has been robbed, lest my wrath go forth like fire. I mean, like, execute justice in the morning, and deliver from the hand of the oppressor who has been robbed, lest my wrath go forth like fire, and burn with none to quench it, because of your, because of your evil deeds. Behold, I am against you, O inhabitants of the valley, O rock of the plain, of the Lord. You who say who shall you you who say who shall come down against us, or, or who shall enter into into our habitations, I will punish you according to the fruit of your deeds, declares the Lord. I will kindle a fire in the forest, or so then I will kindle the fire or a fire in her forest, and it shall devour all that is around her. So God's gonna set Jerusalem on fire and burn it, all up, pretty much burn it down on the ground, pretty much. Um, he, you know, like I say, He's had it with Israel. They're not repenting of their sins. And, um, they're not listening to God. So God sends, God finally sends a war upon them. He allows Babylon to invade Jerusalem. He uh, allows Babylon to kill the majority of the Jews. God sends diseases upon the Jews. He sends starvation upon them. Um, he, and he ends up burning Jerusalem down on the ground. And those who survive 
are taken away into captivity or slavery um, back to Babylon. So um, that's chapter 21, and I'll about chapter, tw well, chapter 22 uh, here shortly.